I guess for me, the hardest part to understand about being an Irishman abroad is the differing views of Irishmen at home versus when they go away. <laughs> yeah, for the women in the room, if I ask you to think of Irish men, you go, fucking nightmare. <laughs> Absolute write off. Over mammied. Over mammied. Wouldn't know romance if it hit them in the fucking face. Make a fucking effort. Make an effort, by and large. Some of you not on board yet. But let's face it, lads. The lads that have been away know this. That's our view here. But when we go away, be still my beating heart. All he has to do, all he has to do is open his mouth. Oh my God, we cut the knees. It's the accent. He's so soulful. He's got such a free spirit. That's the truth, guys. It's like, it's like we're Superman and our powers are useless on our home planet. You meet, you meet them all the time. They come up to you. I can't believe it. Can you fucking believe it? You go away. The girls go mad. I didn't have a fucking girlfriend. I couldn't get a fucking girlfriend at all. I go, fuck fuck I go, they wouldn't fucking look at me. They wouldn't fucking look at me. They don't all talk like that, but the lads that come up to you are in such a state of shock and ecstasy and running from pub to pub. And like, like, you know, we have to accept, lads, that there's something in the opinion that the Irish women hold, by and large, of a lot of us. There is something in it. There is possibly, and I, I guess I'm rolling back on things I've said in the past, there's possibly a recessive gobshite gene. <laughs> okay? And it rears its head every now and then. You know, if you've mar you're married to, you're going out with a good guy, then occasionally he'll do something, you'll be like, what the fuck? You're like, that's like his Uncle Tony. Jesus. That's, if we can accept that, fellas, if we can accept that, and I feel like we can, accept that that's in us and we have to force it down. You ladies have to accept. <laughs> yeah, get ready that sometimes you might be. A little bit mean. <laughs> yes. Yes, lads. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> you see the fucking reaction? A little bit mean. That's all I said. A little bit mean. A little bit. That's all I said. <sighs> Unbelievable. All the lads. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who said that. A little bit, girls. A little bit. How many women in this room, ask yourself this question, have told an Irishman to fuck off <laughs> for saying hello? Tina said to me, Jared, the problem is that they don't say, hello. They go, how are you? <laughs> how, how, yo, hair, headband, headband. I'm talking to you. <laughs> and I am talking to my friend. No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's give and take here, right? There's stuff on both sides of this equation. And the reality is, I'm married to one of you. I'm married to an Irish woman. And if I'm being really honest, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> she is a little mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth is, I like it. <laughs> and I probably need it. I probably need it. She's the one that told me I have two types of clothes. <laughs> clothes that she's bought for me 
and close up both by myself. She calls those unsupervised purchases. You saw the tracksuit. I need it. I need it. That's the reality, lads. We might need it. That's still a little bit mean. I'm still a little bit. She's the only... Tina's the only person in the world I know that has responded to the sentence, I couldn't love you anymore, with the sentence, try. <laughs>